stop wasting money and time on hair. 2024 is the year of the truth. In this video, you will capture a candid discussion that I'm having with a customer about stop wasting money in a hair salon and down those aisles of the beauty supply store about your hair. Listen up close. I hope you will like. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the channel. Thank you for watching the Afro Hair Science no, you don't want to use YouTube water. channel. Yeah, water. So here's the tricky part about water, right? So with water, if you look at your 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 shower faucet or your you know your your water faucet, you'll notice that they kind of have like either water stains or calcium deposits. That's because tap water has these microscopic minerals, you know, um, on the hair. I mean, in the water, and they stick to the hair just like they stick to your faucets and your shower heads. And so that's another reason, like. When you buy those products like in the Ale Organic and the Shea Moisture, remember those are like, and I don't mean this in a condescending way, mm -hmm. but these are people who are resolving their own personal problems with their hair behind the scenes at home. So they're not chemists. They're not taking into account the, the mineral deposits that's in tap water. I mean, they may have come to the conclusion later but uh, in its initial formulations, they haven't. And since there's no, no science, for lack of better words, in their formulations, uh, they're not resolving the problem. They're making the hair feel good. I'm getting twisted now. But um, the hair is not yielding the results that it should, you know, per what the manufacturer is saying. They're saying that this hair should be detangled. No. no. And you can't get through it because this has so much um, stiffness to it. Um, and it feels good when it's wet, but what's going to happen to the hair when it dries? That's the, that's the secret. So once the hair... Right, because it's going to stay more dry than it is going to stay wet. Even if you do a wash and go hairstyle, at some point that hairstyle has to dry. And when the hairstyle dries, it's going to tangle. Uh, and so when you go to bed at night, you've got to calm that hairstyle out and you've got to twist it down. Because if you don't, if you wake up two, three days later, now you got this matted, you know, and you're gonna spend probably almost like a gallon or maybe even a liter of products just to try to get it, you know, loosened. And, you know what I'm saying? So I'm able to pull it off because I got the little technique. But at home, you can probably never get it. You'd be like, oh, I gotta pay somebody. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I went to a way to be putting the glue in the family. And I put it to me. 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 And perfect, you know, hot weather, and if you don't work, <laughs> you, know, you, you ain't got a job, you know, you, you don't have any children to take care of, you know, um, well, I guess you could pull this off, but this is not, those hairstyles aren't for what I call real hair on real people in real life, you know, and in real life Afro hair, it has to be braided down at night, period. It's got to be detangled. That's when we were kids, our parents always put our hair in what? 
ponytails. That's why we had all those ponytails and everybody's got that ugly hairstyle with one ponytail up here, two up here. But that was the tame before. Um, it wasn't about a hairstyle at that point. It was just, you know, like brushing your teeth. You're not trying to, you know, get the mirrors and the caps and all that stuff. You're just trying to have a clean, what they call it, oral hygiene. Well, the best hairstyle for you is going to be a straight hairstyle so that you can manage it. Because if you just, yeah, if you do these, if you do these wash, these quote unquote natural hairstyles, you'll never be able to manage it in real life because you have to, in order to style it, you got to have it combed down. <laughs> you can't even create nothing if the hair is a matted, you know, mess. So even if you wanted to do a wash and go, you gotta wet it down, curl it, let it dry. That's, it's 40 degrees, it's, it's 12 degrees in Cleveland. Uh, that ain't gonna work. I guess if you live in Puerto Rico, like I said, you don't have a job, you don't have children, well, yeah, you can do that. But you know, got a job, and most people have a child. Yeah, I never Yeah, and those are cute, but the minute you let that, you go to sleep on that style, um, you go to the grocery store, it's starting to tangle back up. Why? Because it's still afro, especially this hair is definitely uh, afro. And see, when we at the um, hair salon, traditionally, black women just did not come to a hair salon with their hair like this. So the service model in a hair salon is not for this type of a, you know, condition, you know, on the hair. We're used to women coming in ready to go. Uh, but now that natural hair movement has black women saying, I ain't gotta comb my hair. What am I paying you for? We looking at y'all like, where y'all getting this stuff from? You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, you gotta comb your hair because this is taking time. So your service is booked for a shampoo, blow dryer. So we're ready to take you back to the bar and get you styled. But we gotta spend 30 minutes just to calm you out. Now that's gonna take your whole time. That's gonna take over to somebody else's time. You know what I'm saying? So we want you to always have the hair combed out. Or you could say, my hair needs to be combed out. But if you've been duped into thinking, oh, well I buy this Mio Organics and I put this stuff on my hair and it's detangled and it's like, well, that's not really detangled. That really it just feels good. And so I, if, I would highly recommend that you never, I would not use that product ever again. Yeah. Uh, my leave-in conditioner gives the hair a lot more slip. Um, you want to have this hair come all the way through. So once the hair is come, and I mean, you want to feel the comb on the scalp. You don't want to, no. That comb has got to touch the scalp. The comb should be able to come through the other side of the hair. And then you should be able to take that comb and pull it all the way through with ease. That's the tangle hair, right? Now, you cannot bend to knot it. You got to take it and you got to two strand twist it. Why? so I can control the swelling here. And once I get this whole hair twisted up really good, right? This is just at night if you're gonna do the quote unquote natural, okay? And this is what we used to do back in the 70s. You know, black people, they always braided their afros down and they had the girlfriend sit between her legs, you know, all this stuff comes from Africa, you know, and she twists the hair down, and the boyfriend get up with a husband or the son, uh, and they pick the afro out, or they, you know, wore it as is, okay, so now you have that, now you got to take this, and you want to pin it, take it, and turn it around into a knot. Now, once you get it all down, then they will put a scarf, sometimes they take their mother's knee high, they put the knee high, that's old school, you know. And then when you get up in the morning, 
take the hair down, right? And then you will have this one piece. You get your pick or your afro comb, and then you comb that out. You see how easy that is? And then you wore a natural. You didn't put uh, custard and peanut butter and jelly. So this is what they would call a natural. And you just wear the hair, you take it down, and you would wear your wig, and then you say, well, who else has this look? Shaka Khan, Diana Ross. So that is a natural. That wash and wear, I don't know what them folks is talking about, okay? But again, that's, that's a pretty hairstyle, but most people don't do that. Uh, anymore because if you go to work with your hair like that, it's not that it's unprofessional. It's that it's going to get so matted that by the time you get to lunch, your hair is going to be what? All over your head. You see what I'm saying? And no matter how much gel you put on it trying to look quote unquote presentable, it's unrealistic. It's also, it's probably the most unnatural hairstyle on the planet. It has got to be. If you have Afro hair, like you and I. If you have hair like Mariah Carey, eh, of course. She doesn't have any fro. She's, she's got the curl. She doesn't get this big bush. You see? So if this was my hair, I would come to the salon every month for a shampoo, blow dry style, and I would get my hair straightened out. Uh, and that's just the bottom line. I would not be bothered with any washing up just for hair. Or you can wash it and just blow it dry and wear cornrow braids, like two braids. Leave those in for two weeks, take them out, put them back in, and then save your straight styles for special occasions. Because at that point, you're just trying to be what you said. You can put a hat on, you can put a flower on it, you can do the halo braid. You can do a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then save your money. On the silk press, that's what they call it today. The hell is the silk press? You see what I'm saying? What's happening to us? I'm just trying to figure out. Why are we, we doing this? Why are we here? You know? And so, you know, don't spend all your money in no dang on hair salon. It's, just, it's, un, it's so unrealistic. You know, like it's a blizzard. You gotta go to the grocery store. You know what? I'm gonna get my hair straight now because I got stuff to do. And let's put it in a ponytail. No, they no curling. You know? You wanna put some curl? I go home and put some little rolls on. You know, keep it simple. He had a wedding. And so you could do that. If this was my hair, I would come to the hair salon. It's a lot to manage. It's just a lot of hair. Yeah. Uh, right, it's not. I wouldn't cut it off. I would just make the investment. Just slides, I wash, blow dry, and put me some braids in it. I'm cool. I'm done. I see y'all in two weeks. Oh, I got some specials today. They can straighten it out. Or they can wash it and blow it dry, and I went out there. My curls are straight out. My nephew, or whoever. Now you're into the, you're in the right side. But that other stuff, you ain't gonna have no money. Gonna hate your hair, and it's gonna be. Oh, it's growing this long. Yeah, but shit, I can't do it. I mean, I guess I could. If I got kids. I don't know why I got. I want to pay my own to do my own hair. So you are in the ballpark. I just don't want you to fall anymore for none of this natural hair stuff. Um, keep it simple. Um, and so that's what I would do. You know, once you get, I get finished with you, you can book um, a hair appointment. You know, once a month, and just come, be wash it, and braid up. You can do it if you know how, but save yourself some headache and let a professional do it for you at least once a month. Wash it, blow it dry, put two braids on it, or a real pretty ponytail, a shignam, and then if for your special occasion, you can straight it out. Or if you want to get a silk press, you know, you can silk press it out too. Your salon service is a $90 service. So if you want it done once a month, you'll be spending $90 a month. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you're looking at. I wouldn't spend no more than that, but if that's what you want to do, that's on you. I'm just saying, if you want to put all those spiral curls, it's going to raise the price. That's going to take so long. Why do you want to spend that kind of money? As soon as you put a hat on your head, it's going to be gone. 
hairstyles only good till you get to the door. You know, it's just me honest, you know. When you go home and lay down on it. So let's do practical hair, and I think you'll be very satisfied. How's that for natural hair?